Welcome back to Vegas Live with Nina, and I'm Nina, on your host, and of course, you don't know where I am, because I don't know where I am, but I really do know where I am. We're at the Arts House, actually, um, a little bit in, we're in the Arts Department of Vegas, aren't we? That's right. I've got Miss G with me. This is your amazing looking woman. Hello. Thank you for having me. And you've you got my glasses on, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but last week we had a photograph taken with these glasses on. I put the glasses on because yes. I thought they were so cool. You're <laughs> cool lady. This is one cool lady, and you're from Kansas City. Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. We have That's a long right. story about that, but you are a uh, rap singer. That's right, a rap singer. Um, I, do you sing, I, I call it regular singing, but do you sing other, uh, uh, apart from just rap? Do you just only do rap, or what do you do? Singing I as well? I call it more uh, hip hop. Hip -hop. hip hop. So you do hip hip hop and rap. Yes, Is it the same? No, it's two different. Two things. different things. That's yeah. what I thought. I thought maybe I'm getting this wrong, and I've been all my life. I've, I've, I'm I'm rapping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now it's very hard for a woman to be in a rap singer. I that I do know. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So yeah. it doesn't seem as if it's been hard for you. Uh, you you put it your way in a little bit. I love it. Anything that's fun is not hard. That's a cool answer. And I think that's fun. Not, you're absolutely right. But you still, as a woman, did you feel that, that it was you had to make little shortcuts and little... Yeah, I had to, I had to fight my way through. Yeah. Through the boys club. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this boys club was long gone. Yeah. But it, it, it isn't, is it? No, it's not long gone. So why can't we have just sort of, you know, the women's side of it and the man's side of it with, without there sort of being any sort of, you know, fighting to get in you know competition. It's like, oh, but the men seem to be they don't seem to they seem to want to keep us in the kitchen and and i see a lot of men chefs so you tell me the greatest <laughs> chefs in the world are men and i don't know why we have to be in the kitchen right changing diapers and all that stuff i mean come on <laughs> right <laughs> we, why can't we just do what we want to do without having the struggle well we can now give me his arm now I do what I want to do. You do what? How, how do you do that? I mean, because you're very, you're very calm. You, is that because you know what you want? Yes, I know who I am. I know what I want, and I know how to get it. And what do you want? I want the best things in the world to grace my eyes. I want to see the most beautiful things you can see. And that doesn't always to do with money. No, because it's a lot of everything is to do with money. And I always say to people, yes, I have to have money, I'm expensive. But not everything is to do with money. No, it's not always. You know, my greatest saying right now <laughs> is enjoy the journey yes. to your destination. Enjoy it, though, because a lot of people forget the journey. It's a good saying. They don't play the journey. They don't enjoy the journey. And you enjoy the journey. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Well, what's it been like? It's been a it's been a long journey. I've been doing music since I was an adolescent. Um, my first song I recorded, I was 11 years old. So from that point to now, it's like I've been at shows. I've been in and out of town. I've been on the road. I've sold so many CDs and DVDs out of my vehicle. Sold your own. So have used your own recording, your own voice. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Did it go according to plan? No, it never does. <laughs> It never does. It never I'm always up. surprised. I'm always surprised. Yeah, I'm always surprised because yeah. you get this little, little boomerang comes and you think, well, where did that come from? <laughs> I, I wasn't, and I've been going through that for the last year. I've been having these different th these different changes. But I, I, I think everybody has. You have to embrace it. See? You have to embrace it. So what about the younger generation? Are they embracing life? Are they? Um, in their own kind of way, yeah. What's so different now with them? Because it's very different. It's more generation. wide open. Everything is hands on, eyes on. Now we have the internet. We can see what everybody's doing. Nobody's having any type of shame in what they're doing. It's like just, hey, we're doing it. everything right there for the camera. Do you think they are doing it for the camera to get exposure to Absolutely. doing something? Because mm -hmm. you're in the younger generation. I'm, I'm starting. I've passed the younger generation. My younger generation was nothing like your younger generation. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't have the internet. We didn't. We had to mind our uh, P's and Q's, and we had to be very careful. Uh, but also coming from England, you know, you've got this strict way of being brought up. But uh, uh, now the younger generation is that they can do anything they want. They can. 
and they can put anything they want up on TikTok and mm. Facebook. Do you agree with it? No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm more, um, I'm learning to be more transparent, but I come from being more reserved. private. Yeah, reserved. Private, not mm -hmm. letting everybody know. Yeah. Some things are just not for everything. Some no. things are just for yourself so you can feel good. So that you can feel good. You, listen to what you just said. Sometimes you have to be, feel for yourself to make you feel good. The majority of people will turn around and say, I don't want to let that out because it's, it's a bad thing. No, no. You said the opposite. <laughs> no, no, you have to go within. You have to go within. Of a good thing. Yeah. You don't have to keep a, a bad thing a secret. No, you, you don't. can keep a good thing a secret yes. as well. Yes, you can. <laughs> it feels better like that too sometimes. You just, you know. But you think sometimes when you mess something, you send something out there and then it all gets messed up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's not for everybody. So sometimes you have to have your little pleasures to yourself. And then you can go, you know, unwind and have those pleasures to yourself. And then you can go give back all that love that you have to the world after giving it to yourself. After giving it to yourself. Do, yeah. do you feel, um, as in, especially in the music business, that you have to keep a lot of things to yourself anyway? Because if you do let them out, then people might steal them. Yes, yes. You have to keep your intellectual property tough. <laughs> <laughs> You do. <laughs> I mean, you, and I, I agree with you. I mean, I've learned over the years that's what you have to do. So and I've learned that it's been very difficult. And I've learned, oh, I shouldn't have said that. And I shouldn't have done. I mean, I wrote a whole script for, for the rich bitches. Mm. And it was like these women's shows that have come on. Mm. And, they've, and I'm thinking, did they steal my show? <laughs> <laughs> and it's a lot of that going around. Yes, a lot of it going around, but when I first wrote mine, it, the world, world wasn't going around as much, so, and then I, but I didn't realize that people would steal <laughs> things and they would take them. Yeah. You know that? Yeah, it's a dirty game. Is it dirty a dirty game? game? It's a dirty it's a game. dirty, dirty game. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so how do you manage it? What do you do? Well, you just keep things to yourself, and you, you know, you work on you. Everything that you do, you have to put your all into it. So you need time to do that. Take time and, and you know, seclude yourself and just focus and let your creativity flow. Is there anybody, flow. is there any one person out there that you could really trust, apart from your mom and dad? Yes, yes there is. It's a, it's a few people I can count on one hand that I can really trust. Really? Yes. And they can also trust you? Yes, ma'am. So if they tell you something, you see, you know, don't, you know, that's the greatest thing when they say, you know, don't tell anybody else. Well, as soon as somebody says that to me, I usually say, please don't tell me. <laughs> no, I feel like... No, I'm sort you of, didn't hear from me. You know, but... you know, actually, I happen to be one of those people. People can't tell me things. People tell me a lot of stuff. And I truly do not repeat it. Even if I can, I just don't think sometimes it's worth it. So what is your next move now? What have you got out there now? Well, I have a film that I released. It's called Big Trouble, the movie. And the soundtrack that goes with it, it's on YouTube and iTunes and cool. anywhere you can pretty much, anywhere you can stream music at, it's there. Is there? And, uh, did you write the it. lyrics? Yes, I did. The whole yes, thing. So the whole thing is yours? Yes, ma'am. No uh, partners, no I, nothing? No, I do have partners. I have family. Oh, you have family yes, partners? Yes, the, the entire cast are my family members. Oh, isn't that nice? So yes, you trust your family? Yes, I do. And they're on your side? Yes, ma'am. No jealousy? No. Cool. <laughs> That's really cool. I like that. Yeah. So you've got that is out now already, and, and is it out for now? Yes, it's out. And how's it doing? It's doing good. It's doing good. We're um we're like thirty two thousand views on YouTube. Um, I released. And where it. do they go to get to, to find all this? Miss G K C M O is my YouTube channel. You can find Big Trouble the movie. You can also find the soundtrack there. iTunes, Apple Music, Tidal, um, Spotify. Any streaming site, like I said, any streaming site, MissGmusic.com Miss as well. MissGmusic.com is where you're going to find her. Absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. Do you do recordings for other people as well? Do you all yes, the I studio do. Yes, and I stuff? Do. I've shot about 20 music videos for other people. I've done business commercials. Um, film production is a love of mine as well. Wow. Yes. This woman is absolutely amazing. Anybody, but the younger generation, I've always had a thing for younger generation. I love the younger generation. I love their ideas. I love the way they're going. Most people say, oh, they don't know what's going on. Well, I think they know more what's going on than I did when I was there. They age. are what's going on. They, they <laughs> <laughs> I love that they are what's going on, and they truly yes. are. They are what's going on. 
So um, how can they reach you again? Any phone numbers, anything like that? Uh, Miss GKCMO, um, 816-555-5555. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Well, as you know, we're down here at the Arts uh, House, which is amazing, and we're filming out here, and we've got uh, Maria Perez, who's actually my new producer, so everything's going absolutely fantastic. I'm absolutely elated, and um, hopefully we won't be moving anywhere else. I hope you yeah. like my new background. We're, we're kind of at a bar, and we've got the light coming in, and we're absolutely, oh, everything's amazing. It's absolutely wonderful. So anyway, we'll be right back with our next guest. You take care.